for 35 years, been working as a textile artist and um, exhibiting around Australia and teaching textiles to um, adults and working with children sometimes and exhibiting and in Australia and overseas as well. So I've been I'm very passionate about textiles. 2007 I had um, an exhibition in Seoul and it was organised by, um, curated by a lady called um, Sumi Kim who is a Korean um, woman who lives, she lives in Australia and she thought I should have an exhibition in Korea because I, I loved the culture and so we did that. And then I had an exhibition the following year and then so for five years I've, I had um, exhibiting and um, being involved in teaching over there. In Korean arts, um, I love the installation art, so sculpture and I love the jewellery as well. I'm wearing a Korean piece. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I got this in Incidon quite strongly as you can see with my work here. Um, each, I'm using traditional Pajagi techniques and um, doing them in my own contemporary way using traditional wrapping cloth techniques but making them into garments that you can wear. So um, it means that um, it's functional as well as, as um, artistic. Pajagi is um, it's an ancient craft and it's mainly made by women and um, it's traditionally made as a wrapping cloth to wrap their food, their gifts, um, wedding ceremonies and um, religious ceremonies and so they would use small pieces of fabric and just piece them together, sew them together often in, those, in ancient times by hand and modern times they use mis sewing machines. So nothing's wasted, so um, recycling clothing and um, it's um, making them embroidering as well, making them really, really beautiful. And so that they're functional and beautiful, which is what I try to do with my clothing is functional and beautiful. And philosophically um, and environmentally, it's, it's ahead of its time. I love this, it's, there's an honesty to the fabric because every, nothing is hidden. Every seam, every joining place is, is seen. So they create junctions and it's overlapping of colours. You can see the, how the colours overlap and how they change where you join them. And there's an honesty to that. There's like um, nothing hidden. I like to things to be functional. So it's not just on a wall so that people wearing it, I think people should be, uh, be like art pieces. It's good that things are functional. It's important to me that artwork is often functional. Sometimes it's not, but it's, I like to do both. There are books around now. There's um, Bajagi and Beyond by Chung Yi Lee. That's a very, that's easily accessible on um, Amazon and other, and book depository so it's easy to get. So um, I think if you if you Google it in, on social media there's an, and Pinterest and those sort of things you can find it now it's more because there's lots of contemporary artists using it so um, and it's all different to it's not looking at the same type of work at all it's very varied um, I think that people should make a point to come and look at the lovely gallery at the um, Cultural Centre. It's, it's really quite inter it's interesting, it's a beautiful space and um, I just think everyone should come and have a look.